So today I'm going to show you the difference between uh, three different kinds of mink. A, uh, one that was bottle raised from a baby, one that was tamed later in life, and one that's not tamed. So you can see the difference. And I'm going to explain the difference in handling. I've had a lot of questions why I handle certain mink certain ways. And I'm going to show that and explain that today. So we're going to start out with a tame mink that was bottle raised from a baby. Or we've got a couple to choose from. We'll see which one I grab. <laughs> But Rio and Mischief were both bottle raised and were considered humans um, basically one of their own. You could say they're imprinted. I actually use a word, uh, I basically made up some definitions a few years ago uh, for different mink. And uh, a mink that was raised as a baby that's essentially imprinted I call a wanagte. I talk about it a lot in my book but I don't really discuss it in my videos, the, the different definitions for things. But um, a wanagte, these guys are wanagtes, they were bottle raised from a young mink and so they consider humans um, essentially kind of like another mink. They see me as another mink and they're going to treat me accordingly. So I'm a mink that's their friend, they probably see me as their mother I'm assuming and so they like and trust me. Uh, they might see another human as a, a, you know, someone invading their territory and they want to attack. So they're not necessarily friendly to all humans, just like they're not friendly to all mink. They're friendly to each other, but if one of these other mink came around, they would fight them. So Wanagthes, um, you can handle them very differently compared to a mink, a mink that you may be tamed as an adult. So, see look, she's even giving me little play bites. Isn't that cute? You a cute little girl mischief. So, see Mischief, she can comfortably be handled much like a ferret. See, she's totally relaxed and I'm holding her all these goofy ways and she's not panicking. She's even giving me little play bites because she's accustomed to this and she's, you know, she's beyond tame. She's bonded to me. And so, I could do whatever I want for the most part and it doesn't really stress her out. You can look at her teeth. Let's see how her teeth are. Hey, you got some nice teeth, Mischief. You know, she's very calm and confident around humans because I've Ooh. put the hours into handling her from a very young age when she was able to bond with me. Wanagte is an Omaha word for a tame or domestic animal, or basically a pet. A kuhe would be any mink that was tamed after, say, like seven, eight, nine weeks old, after they're old enough that they can't bond to you. So I'll show you two different kuhes, one that's been tame and one that hasn't been tamed. So you can see the differences. So this is Ita. She's not a Wanagte. Though she was handled from a young age, she's not bonded to humans. So she is more than happy to bite me, but she's had a lot of work. She's, she's been handled a lot, so she's pretty tame, but she's different than like Rio was, where she was bottle raised and she's, she's bonded to humans. So she's what I call a Kuhe. Um, she was not bonded to humans from a young age. The calmest way to handle a mink that's not accustomed to being handled is actually their tail. A lot of times people complain about me grabbing their tail. They're like, oh, why are you doing that? That's mean. It's not mean. If it was mean, she'd be biting me right now. She, look how relaxed she is. She doesn't even care. I can hold her like this, and she kind of doesn't like that she's upside down, but she's not concerned at all. It's not painful to her. And now, I've seen mink that have had injuries to their tails, who if you just touch their tail, they're wheeling around and biting you. So it's obvious it's not causing any discomfort, because I've seen mink that it does cause a discomfort to, because they've had an injury to their tail, and they will bite you and they do freak out. So the fact that she's not reacting just shows that she just doesn't care, it doesn't bother her. Now, is it her favorite thing in the world? No, she'd rather be loose and running free, but it's different than if I was to grasp her around her body. Now, even her, she's been accustomed to being grasped around the body for a long time because um, since she was little, I would put the harness on and I have to restrain her to do that. But look at how she stresses out when I restrain her around the body. See how she's kind of struggling a little bit? Now, because she has had a lot of work in handling like this, She's not struggling that bad. You could tell she's annoyed, but she's not totally losing it. So I had some questions last video, or one of my last videos, um, where I was handling these guys as to why these guys aren't tame, but Mamba is. So the reason is, this actually goes to show how wild mink are. These little guys have been handled on a regular basis from a young age, and yet they still aren't completely trustworthy. They still want to bite me. Um, they're not too bad. They've, 
you'll see in a minute, they've actually improved a lot compared to how they would be if I didn't handle them. But um, the reason is, mink take a lot of time. It's not like a ferret, you can go get them out a couple times a week and they'll stay friendly. Not at all. I could handle these guys, I've been handling these guys on a regular basis since they were little. But they still retain their wild nature because mink are not domestic. They're not like a, a, a cat or a dog or a ferret that naturally want to be around humans and naturally put up with being handled. These guys are wild and so it, it takes a lot more work to get them and keep them tame than it would any other animal uh, that you're probably accustomed to. So if people ask, hey, why, why is it mamba's tame and these guys aren't? It's because I've spent literally two, three, four hours a day at a minimum with mamba ever since she was a baby. These guys have only gotten a few minutes of my time on a daily basis. And so they haven't become tame like mamba is. Um, they're still somewhat wild. Now, as you're about to see, they're a lot tamer than a mink that hasn't been worked with, but they're nothing like mamba and like Rio and mischief who were raised from a baby with tons and tons of hours poured into them. So this mink has had no work as far as taming. Obviously, I've hunted with her, I've trained her to, to kind of come back and some basic stuff for hunting, but that's it. I've put zero attempt into, into really taming this mink. She has had some work, so she's a lot more confident around humans than like say a, a mink you would have just got off a farm but she hasn't really been worked with as far as getting accustomed to physical handling. So this is um, Thashishi. And uh, let's show the difference between trying to handle her versus the mink that we just showed. So she has very little handling experience. And you see I'm holding her by her tail and she's pretty relaxed. She's not liking it of course, she would rather run away, but she's not like panicking. You see the difference? in a moment between me holding her by her tail. So this is why I handle semi-tame mink by their tail is to keep them nice and calm. She's actually calming down pretty good right now. You can tell she's a little bit agitated but she's not too bad. Now watch the difference when I try and hold her like a ferret. Let's say I let go of her tail and try and restrain her the way I did. See look how she freaks out. This is why you don't hold a mink like a ferret. So you can see the difference between now I got her again, I'm holding her by her tail. She's a little stressed from kind of being run around. She's a little stressed out, but not too bad. Now watch again. If I try and hold her like a ferret, look at her biting me. Look how she's biting me. See, it's just not, not something they like. They don't like to be restrained. See the stress, her mouth's open. Her She's trying to swaggy. bite me. She's squirming around. But if I go back to holding her tail again, she relaxes. So the best way to handle a mink without stressing them is not to grab them around the body. You just grab them by the tail and then support their body with your other glove. And you see, she's not liking it, but she's relaxing. She's like, okay, it's not so bad. I can relax. But if I go back to grabbing her again, like you would a ferret, she's gonna panic again and start fighting, start biting, start musking, you know. It's a stressful event for her. So, by holding her by her tail, you can avoid a lot of that stress. And it's, it's just downright convenient as well. Coming up, we've got a couple things we want to show you. We're going to go rat hunting this weekend, so we should have a good ratting video up next week, um, is the hope. And then we need to continue our, our uh, Black Mamba series. Right now, she's just there hasn't been much change in her development, so we haven't done any videos, updates on Mamba lately. But we will be doing some soon. Uh, she's about getting to the age where we could start doing a little bit of work with, with maybe young brown rats. So here in the next couple weeks, we should do another Black Mamba video with her hunting some, maybe some young brown rats in a, a park. So uh, I'll show you that and uh, stay tuned. I hope you en keep enjoying our videos and we'll keep putting them up. Thanks. So in starting out a young pup, you gotta make sure you have something that's nice and easy. 
not too hard to run down, not too hard to handle once caught. So this young little rabbit is just perfect to start our pup on. Let's go see how she does. So we've released the pup. Let's see how she does. She approaches her quarry carefully. She's, she's trying to lure it to coming into her rather than her come to it. She realizes the wisdom and not always chasing her prey. Let's see, can this young pup figure it out? The bunny's giving her a little more of a challenge than we expected. Oh, there we go, it stopped. And looks like she's got her quarry. So we want to hurry in and help her. Good job. Good job. Oh, good job. We're going to make sure we help her so she ends with a good note. Good job. Good girl. And you give lots of praise. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Did you catch it? Oh, good job. Oh, good job. It's nice, huh? Oh, good girl. So make sure you give the pup lots of praise. Let them know they did a good job. Oh, good girl. Oh, baby. Not my nut. Oh, you want to hold it again? Uh-huh. Ha-ha, <laughs> I tricked you guys, didn't I? You thought I was going to give that bunny to a dog. <laughs>